This is Minecraft, but anything you touch turns to anything. Today I can touch any block in the game, and that block then has the possibility of turning into anything extremely valuable in Minecraft. My goal is to turn the entire world into a wealthy utopia and become the richest player to ever live. But to do so, you'll need to leave a like on this video right now and help me toward 10,000 likes, or end up like this. And trust me, I will become richer than Elon Musk. Just watch. <laughs> I am Thanos. Actually, it's not really the Infinity Gauntlet. It's a golden glove. And if I right click using this thing, I can turn the world into gold. I can turn grass blocks into gold. I can turn leaves into gold. And the more gold that I make, the more the progress bar goes up. This is only the first stage. We're going to go through many different stages today until we turn the entire world into Everything? Who knows what that means, but let's do a gold wood mining session! And with our gold wood, make a gold crafting table, and inside of this gold crafting table... <gasps> and using this crafting table, we will be able to create a custom gold sword, which actually only requires two oak planks, so I can make that right now, as well as a custom gold pickaxe and an axe. Look at that, we already have three nice custom gold tools. Now look at this. There are three other crafting tables that we need to unlock. There's also some golden socks here, which require four golden wool. So I wonder if we find some sheep, can we turn them into gold and kill them? Also, dude, my weapons can now also turn anything into gold. Wait, if I... <gasps> It drops golden leaves. What do golden leaves do? Can I eat the, oh, I can. It goldifies my entire hunger and health bars. But before we get to that, I wanna give a huge thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. Also, be sure to stay tuned to see what happens next. War Thunder is a free to play multiplayer game where you're able to control an array of military vehicles in a heated battle. From ground vehicles to aircrafts and even naval vessels, you'll be fighting on the land, in the air, and in the sea. Just recently, War Thunder released a brand new update called Sky Guardians, which added the Yak-141, Panzer 1S, and for the first time ever, warships from the French fleet. Wee oui, wee! Oui. Something I thought was super neat in War Thunder is that you're able to improve every single vehicle with better armor, special equipment, additional devices, skins, decals, and decorative elements to make each vehicle your own. There's an insane amount of customizations you can choose from. And the best part is War Thunder is available right now on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Mac. So be sure to use my link down in the description below to download it for free today. All new players and those who haven't entered War Thunder for six months or more will receive half a million in Silver Lions, a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles, XP boosters, a week of premium membership, and more. Don't hesitate to download today before the season ends. And once again, I wanna give a huge thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the action. That's cool and all, but I have to find a sheep which is right here and I have to continue putting this progress bar up by turning the world into gold. Now, if I go up to this sheep, and I right click him with this, oh, it turns into a golden sheep. Okay, now if I kill him, is he gonna drop my golden wool? He does, he drops three of them, we need one more. Bam, and goodbye, there we go. Wait, can I turn like any animal into gold using these tools? If I go up to a pig, it's a gold pig. Yo, dude, even a chicken turns gold, a golden chicken. All right, using our yellow wool, let's go ahead and craft these golden socks and put them on because we do need some sort of armor here. And oh, it looks like with these, now everywhere I walk is going to turn into gold. So it's transforming the world that much quicker and our progress bar is going up even faster. What in the world is this place? Who are you? Is this like a... Golden village. Um, please don't hurt me. Uh, I guess you are a villager. You're a golden villager. Can I right click you? I can! <gasps> he trades all sorts of gold stuff, including custom golden shurikens and golden potions. Well, I'm gonna need a ton of gold in order to buy any of this stuff, so I hope you villagers don't mind, but I'm gonna have to steal a little bit of your resources here. There are gold blocks all over the place. It's like infinite gold. That's a stack and a half of ingots. And with that, I should be able to purchase
purchase a full set of armor minus the boots since I already have the socks. And you know what? I'm curious about the golden potion, which only has three uses. I'll cop one of those as well as a golden shuriken and an enchanted golden apple. Put all that on. I look dope. Let's see. What does this golden potion do? Whoa! What in the world? I have golden speed and golden strength. And I just look gold now. Whee! I can like fire these potions out at things as well. Whoa, what the heck just happened? It's got flung 100 feet into the air. What is that thing? The golden golem? Um, hello, sir. Why do you seem to have like emerald stuff on you? <gasps> Maybe I need to kill this guy in order to get to the next stage. Can I just launch some of these potion things out of- Oh, that does so much damage! But so does he! Land in the water, Grazer! I have a half a heart! Die, ah, you stupid golem! Oh my goodness! What did he drop? Ooh, what is this? It is a emerald core. <gasps> Okay, before we right-click that, I'm not dying here. I need to heal up. I also want to see what the shuriken does. Okay, it just makes more and more gold everywhere and just helps me out, I guess, a bit more. So let's go ahead and right-click the emerald core. Whoa! I just upgraded to the emerald stage. And in my inventory, I now have an emerald glove. So I guess I now have to use this glove in order to turn the world into emerald. And that's going to keep increasing the progress bar. It's going to keep going up and up. Okay, so what happens to our gold crafting table if I place it? Oh my goodness! It upgraded. We now have an emerald one, and with this one, we've now unlocked the emerald recipes, which includes a full set of emerald armor and an emerald launcher. That is... What in the world is this? Is this a woodland mansion? <gasps> ah! What in the world are these things? Dude, what? This thing just dropped an emerald battle axe. What in the world? Dude, this place looks insane. Ah, those green vexes are everywhere. Okay, so what does this battle axe do? Whoa, okay. It just killed that vex in one shot. But as I'm killing them, they're dropping something as well. What are these? Custom emeralds? Oh gosh, dude, these things take up the entire, oh my gosh. Oh dude, this is easy. I can turn any mob I want into emerald and that progress bar just keeps increasing and increasing. Whee! I'm guessing this is how, yeah, we create the custom emerald armor set, which I will do now. Off with the gold, in with the emerald, and now I am an emerald man. And I'm assuming everywhere I walk with this, yeah, it's gonna just keep changing the world all into emerald. Look at this. Goodbye, mobs. Oh, wait, did it just come with my own pet? Nice to meet you, fellow emerald pal. The name's Greeny. Oh, hi, Greeny. Guess you're here to help me on my quest. Tell your viewers to subscribe. It'd be cool to see you hit 4 million subscribers. Subscribers. I mean, I agree. We need like 900,000 more. Get subscribing now and I'm gonna go up to the next floor. Wait, is that an emerald evoker? Ah, jeez Louise! Okay, there's tons of them, there's tons of them. Wait, they're everywhere. I need to take one of these guys out. Get out of here, buddy. It dropped an emerald totem. Three of three uses. Oh, I just used one because I just, I'm being attacked by so many freaking evokers everywhere. I have to get out of here. But it's just splattering emeralds out all over the place, all over me. We're almost halfway through the process. Bar. And it looks like with my emerald armor, I'm actually immune to these vexes. They can't attack me. Only the evokers can. Now it's time to see how do I craft this emerald launcher? It only required the one gunpowder, which I got from killing the creeper. So I can use this now. And whoa! Jeez Louise! It just shoots out emeralds and completely destroys the place. Um, hey buddy, let's go ahead and kill you. It just broke my sword, but he dropped three emerald strawberries. And can I now use this to become a strawberry? Oh my goodness, I'm literally a walking strawberry. Wait, what the? Emerald exosuit? Um, what's in here? What in the world is that thing? Oh my goodness. It's like firing bullets at me like nonstop. Do they hurt a lot if I walk in? It's like a huge freaking robot. I think I have to kill this guy. Oh gosh, quick. Strawberry powers, commence, take my strawberries, you stupid thing. Oh wow, it kills them pretty easily, but I have to make sure I don't get hit. And got him, he's dead. And I assume he dropped the next thing. He dropped his, he dropped a mech, a freed mech, and the amethyst core. So I'm assuming we go ahead, right click the core. Boom, we now have the amethyst, the glove, which <gasps> right clicking with this will now turn the world into amethyst and updates our progress bar. But I'm more concerned about the mech. Whoa! I can freaking just ride a back! It doesn't really fit here in the mansion, but... Alright! Oh, 
I could turn a lot of the world into amethyst using the mech. Okay, while I'm getting out of here, I will place my crafting table down and it will upgrade to amethyst. And with the amethyst table, oh my gosh, we can unlock the new level of stuff. We can create an amethyst bow, which requires amethyst ingots, huh? What in the world? There are new amethyst ores beneath the ground and these are what drop the amethyst ingots. So I'm gonna have to collect some of these. I can't believe I didn't see these before. Or maybe they just started generating in as soon as, oh my goodness. Everything I break is just dropping amethyst stuff and there's a creeper. So we'll take as much of these as we can grab, create that amethyst bow and with this thing, okay, we can change even more of the world into amethyst. Turns out we have enough ingots to craft an amethyst heart as well. So I will go ahead and grab that. And what does this do? Is this just gonna give us an extra heart? An extra two hearts permanently, I think. I'm gonna keep digging down and see, oh! Okay, so when you take damage, it uses the hearts and it lets you know. Holy smokes, what in the world is this place? I think I just found an underground amethyst cave. Look at the cute little glow squids. What in the world is that thing? Dude, what? No, 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 no. All right, eat my strawberry, eat my strawberry, throw my freaking berries at these guys. Oh my goodness. What were those things? Okay, they also drop a bunch of the amethyst ingots. Get out of here. Ah, what are these? Dude, this cave has all sorts of mobs I've never seen before. No, 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 no. I'm gonna use my mech. Oh, get out of here. Okay, they dropped something as well. An amethyst staff. What on earth? Well, this is cool. Just shoots out amethyst lasers. It helps my progress bar. Oh, what is in this little hut thingy? Anyone home? I mean, there is a chest and <gasps> it contains amethyst armor. Okay. Time to get rid of my emerald stuff. I've been waiting for that. Throw on all the amethyst. We will turn all purpley and glowy in. Our health bar and hunger bar and armor bar are all so cool looking. There's also an amethyst enchanter book. Not sure what this is, but with my armor, I can click a button and whoa, hold on. I'm like shooting out crystals everywhere. <gasps> I can fly. Oh, for a limited time, I guess. And this enchanter book, ooh, it has its own custom amethyst enchant. All right, I'm gonna try enchanting my amethyst armor here. What enchant will I get? Let's click the level two. It's gonna give it touch enhanced turning jump and amethyst general, what? And that's kind of what I got on all of my armor. So I think those are the only new enchants I can get. Now I have it on my entire set. Whoa! What on earth? Dude. <gasps> okay, that is OP. What other enchants do I have? Oh my goodness. I can spawn my own amethyst helpers. Hey guys. So now I'll use my flight, get on over to here, while also just generating so much amethyst everywhere. Why did you attack my people and raid my things? You will pay for this. Oh, uh, what in the world is that? Ah! It's an amethyst beast. Um, How am I gonna take this guy out? Do I have to use the amethyst staff, maybe? I guess it's big guy versus big guy, baby. Oh. And he's dead. Oh my goodness, dude. That guy was freaking huge. Okay, he did drop something. I believe this is the next stage of our little journey here. And it is the diamond core, which we will need to upgrade our glove to diamond of course. So our glove is now diamond. Oh, this turns things into diamond very quickly and easily too. Oh, okay. This is very, very powerful. We'll go ahead and we'll throw down our crafting table, have an upgrade over to diamond. And in the diamond one, we can make a couple of cool weapons here. We're going to need compressed diamond. Where are we going to find that? Do we need to go and maybe find another cave. Wow, I have found a lot of this new ore and it looks pretty common. So let me just make sure these are what I'm looking for. Yep, the compressed diamond. So these will be used to create that sword and pickaxe we saw in the recipe book. I'm just gonna collect a bunch of them in case they're useful for even more than those two items. So we'll go ahead and craft what appears to be a custom diamond battle axe as well as the sword. And now we have our final tier of items, I would assume. I still have a bit of that progress bar to go. This thing can uh, help us out with that a little bit. Holy smokes, that does a lot of damage. Come here, you stupid zombie. Wait, he's going invisible and he just plopped. Uh, what is that? A piece of diamond powder. Click your armor with this powder. Uh, okay, let me click my chest plate. <gasps> it just upgraded it to gem powered chest plate. Wait, 
I need three more of those where that came from. Do I just have to kill a bunch of mobs? Oh, I just turned that creeper into diamond. Give me all of these and skeletons. You don't want anything to do with me. Trust me. We'll go ahead, apply that on all of our armor. And now we just got a bunch bigger. Our hearts are all diamond now. Our hunger bars are diamond. And we are so close to completing the progress bar. Is that a diamond stronghold right in front of us? No way. Okay, I'm kind of converting it into diamond using my armor, but it was already diamond before we got here. Do these just spawn on a whim when I'm in this armor? Oh geez, he withers me. The portal is already filled though. They must have done that because I never had any eye of enders. I'm just heading in. Oh brother. Who am I in for to fight this time around? What? What is that thing? Are those diamond cannons on the ground? Are they shooting cannonballs? I mean, they are. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Minions, surround him. Oh my goodness, that's the biggest boss I think I've ever seen. Look at that thing, the Jemper. He's losing health. Even the Endermen don't like him. I require assistance. Oh shoot, he's spawning all of the mobs we've seen before. Oh, did they just kill him in two shots? No way! He dropped the final missing piece of the puzzle. The netherite core. Bingo! Oh my god, you turned the entire nether into netherite! Dude, look at this place. All the endermen, all the everything. I'm getting out of here though. I should not have killed that boss that easily. I just love that I'm just a strawberry running around, but uh, peace out!